I'm Sanan Osmer, and I'm the founder of Kylie.ai. Kylie uses AI to clone brand personalities to automate customer support communication. By capturing these brand personalities, we're able to automate these messages on the company's behalf to handle rising ticket volumes. If you meet DiGiorno Pizza, now rumors are circulating that DiGiorno Pizza is thinking of making a vegan pizza. So let's go ahead and ask our DiGiorno clone on Twitter directly, when are you going to make a vegan pizza? Now, because this account is powered by Kylie, Kylie's going to listen to those tweets, figure out the best way to respond to it, and automatically draft or send a message back. So within seconds, we have a notification already back from DiGiorno AI. And when we look, when are you going to make a vegan pizza? The clone has said, never, with a pepperoni pizza emoji. Short, sweet, and to the point. So Kylie is a deep learning technology layer that integrates seamlessly with existing workflows. Setting up Kylie is completely automated on the company's behalf and requires zero behavior change on either side of the conversation. The trick is, our product is not a platform. Our product is the ability to create empathetic responses in the voice of the company itself. As a former data science lecturer from the Johns Hopkins University, we've been able to integrate natural language understanding and generation to make AI more accessible, seamless, and more accurate than ever. Kylie looks at the previous responses and messages over the lifetime of the company. For example, how do I reset my password? By looking at all the ways that people have responded in the past, Kylie is able to generate the best the 97% confident response, go to your account page, click on, she even wrote the gear icon emoji, and request a new password link. Companies will see an increase in consistency, a decrease in communication debt, meaning they no longer have to ask the person next to them how to answer a question, and overall the company will see a better customer support relationships. Here's another example in Zendesk. The person has asked, where is my account info? And when an agent opens this ticket, all they'll see is a draft generated by Kylie to go to the account info. She even mentioned the gear icon, and she's 85% confident in this response. The agent can send it or alter it and send it whenever they want. The knowledge base that Kylie is creating in the form of a communications AI is able to serve as the best response at a moment's notice from any department. To date, we've cloned over a thousand personalities and are actively working towards paid pilots with these customers. And I'm Sanan. I'm the founder of Kylie.ai, where we're building an empathetic AI communications layer. Thank you. Okay, well done. We'll give that a big yeah. golf clap. Also for coming in 30 seconds under. That never happens. Um, never happens. What I love about your presentation, uh, Sanan, is that you used great examples, really, really great examples. And as I always tell people in the incubator, and I, you may have said this, or you may have heard me say this during rehearsals for the launch festival, examples matter. It's our job as entrepreneurs to give examples to investors, customers, potential employees, any stakeholder that vividly show uh, and effectively show our product or service in the real world. And what was great here is when you start showing how do I reset my password and Zendesk and the confidence level, it just makes me go, wow, I don't have to wonder if this is needed in the real world. There is no doubt that this product is needed in the real world. There is no doubt that any company is repeating themselves over and over again and that using AI to figure out what is the best response and to have that automated is brilliant. Now with the pizza and automatic responding on Twitter, you might think, ooh, that's a little aggressive. There's a chance of a mistake. Right, disaster mode, what's yeah, going on? Yeah, but what's great about that example is it's it pulls you in because it's so amazing, right? You're like, oh wow, that is crazy. But then you went to a more pragmatic version of, hey, you can put the draft in in your Zendesk and tell people how to do it and change it if you want to. So I just love your ability to communicate why this product is gonna work. And when you look at the AI machine learning space, people are thinking about you know replacing lawyers, right? Mm -hmm. And replacing- I've thought about that for a long time. Well, like yes, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> replacing lawyers, not right. by shooting oh, them. Got it. Okay, I'm got talking it. about right. throwing yeah. them off a building. Right. I'm talking about replacing lawyers- With robots. With robots and okay, with artificial good. intelligence. Right. And this is an example of, well, that seems too far-fetched, mm -hmm. too hard for today's technology. This seems incredibly doable and that any company would pay for this and eliminate- those jobs that are repetitive, boring, and that humans should not be doing in my mind. So I just love your presentation, um, and I'm just really excited about Kylie.ai.
Hey, everybody. I'm super excited about our latest partner on This Week in Startups. It's called Cisco Spark from Cisco. You know Cisco. Of course you know Cisco. Cisco Spark is a new meeting platform and a communication platform for teams. And we're using it here at This Week in Startups, and it is life-changing. It can make working together so easy, so pleasant. And in this package, for one low price of free, you get, yes, that's right, free, you get video meetings, team messaging, like chat, you know how that works, digital whiteboarding, I'm going to get into that in a minute, file sharing and calling, all of this together in one secure app that works on any of your devices, Android, tablet, iPad, iPhone, desktop, you get the idea, and it's the fastest way to host and join meetings, and it works with industry-leading video systems like, ah yes, the Cisco Spark Board, I have the Cisco Spark Board, and this is a touch-based, all-in-one device, where literally, I click, And I say, everybody who's in this room, you know, like a chat room, everybody in this Cisco Spark room, I want you to join this video conference. Somebody could be at home, another person could be in a hotel or on the road, on their phone, on the BART. Two people could be in a New York office, two people could be in the San Francisco office. All of a sudden, we're all in one space on the Cisco Spark board with all of our files from that chat room. And we can then pick an image like we did for the launch festival and start drawing on it and saying, hey, let's move these tables here. It is amazing. And the Cisco Spark board comes in 55 inches or 70 inches. It's kind of like an all-in-one touchscreen whiteboard camera with amazing microphones where if you're in the back of the room, it picks you up perfectly. And the video quality, it makes you feel like you're in the same room without having to spend what used to be, I think, a quarter million dollars or $50,000 to outfit a room. You can now do it for low thousands of dollars. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I love my Cisco Spark Board. And on this very program, This Week in Startups, we're going to start putting Cisco Spark Boards in other cities so that entrepreneurs and investors from, say, New York, Los Angeles, maybe London, Berlin, uh, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Seoul, can then video conference into the show, and we can start doing remotes with startups from around the world. How exciting is that? All powered by Cisco Spark and the Cisco Spark board. If you want to see all this exciting stuff and try the software, go to ciscospark.com, ciscospark.com to learn more and sign up for free. Thanks for joining the team, Cisco. Let's get back to this amazing program. 